Awesome. There's a new joke going around. Have you heard it? What is the five fingers? Say to the face. What? Slap. Boom shakalaka, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters around the world. It is your boy Chris Shule, a.k.a. the esoteric noetic, a.k.a. the chocolate Nubian soul brother from Ghana, West Africa. Dropping the wisdomatic truth bombs here in Melbourne, Australia, down under. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, click on the bell, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your mama, drop, drop us the comments, drop us the cryptocurrencies. Check out my new book, Vegan Prince Warrior King. Let's get it. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, we got some big news. We have had one crazy week with, of course, Will Smith smack smacking the shit out of Chris Rock. Slap! <laughs> and now it has just been announced that Will Smith is resigning from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences after slapping Chris Rock. Now, this came out, I believe, on April Fool's Day, so I'm a little apprehensive. I mean... Yesterday was April Fool's Day here in Australia. I think in the U.S., it's April Fool's Day today. I think this came out around that time. So I'm a little skeptical, obviously. Uh, that being said, in addition, the fact that this is coming out of Hollywood, this is the realm of lies, deception, professional liars, actors, all that kind of stuff, makes me even a little bit more skeptical. I mean, bearing in mind also that Hollywood is the, is the land of, of Hollywood. Now, those that are not aware, Hollywood, in ancient times, dropping some esoteric knowledge right now, was a specific kind of wood that had magical properties that was used for casting spells, illusions. In fact, you know those magical ones that everyone's using, those magicians are using, you know, abracadabra, that kind of stuff? These were made out of Hollywood, a special kind of wood that would be used for casting spells. So the very idea of Hollywood deals with illusions, casting spells the dream spell over your eyes and getting you to buy into narratives and so forth. Now, a lot of people have been conspiracizing that what we have seen, this Chris Rock versus Will Smith scenario, was staged. And uh, I have been saying from the onset that no, it was not. Anyone that is able to look at human body language and is able to tap into their instincts realizes that the reaction from Chris Rock 100% was organic. And in fact, he has recently come out and said that, look, he's going to speak about what's happened it's evident to everyone that uh, Chris Rock definitely wasn't in on it. Now, of course, people are always going to conspiracize and make these circumstantial arguments, bring about this circumstantial evidence and so forth as to why this thing was staged. But take it from yours truly, and uh, I am never wrong with this kind of stuff because <laughs> I'm the esoteric noetic. 100% what we saw transpire between Will Smith and Chris Rock was not a planned event, definitely not by Chris Rock, and it makes no sense instinctively to me that someone like Will Smith would be willing to jeopardize his career like that. And look, he was aware of it, but he acted in this weird actor mentality where you think you're somehow larger than life, and he could do what he was doing, um, and it was somehow acceptable. Um, you know, it's really interesting when you have a look at the personality of Will Smith, where he's, you know, initially I was saying that it's, uncharacteristic of him to do something like this and I think I was mistaken even though in my last video I used evidence of him slapping someone in the past it just doesn't seem like a Will Smith thing to do bearing in mind this is what we see publicly we see this action hero that is cool that is calm that is funny but on the personal side of things these people are dealing with a whole bunch of stuff you have no idea about and what's interesting is recently we've, we've been hearing reports classically by uh, Jamie Foxx for instance that this is not uncharacteristic. In fact, a while back, Will Smith basically strangled Jamie Foxx for telling an inappropriate joke to N Nelson Mandela. Check this out. I'm in Africa, I I'm, in, I'm, in his, I'm, in, I'm in Nelson Mandela's house, and he walks down the stairs and he sees me, and at that time I was doing Mundini, and I was sort of, you know, heavy. You know, right, right. Whatever. And he walks up to me and he's shaking everybody's hand. He's like, oh, you look like Mike Tyson. I was like, ah. Oh. Wow. I said, well, you look like Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Mini Rice. Mini Shout out to Jasmine Rice. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, Will Smith grabbed me by the neck and drugged me. So you can't do that. And I said, what the hell? I thought trying to do the hot. So what can be seen is that Will Smith is the kind of person that does tend to act out like this. He does tend to be the social justice warrior. And I truly believe this guy has a good heart. It's not like he 
look, anytime you're defending something, there is a sense of honor that's coming from it, but your actions speak louder. And it's it's not good enough just to defend someone and for the, for the wrong reasons, you know. If you decide to defend someone that is not worthy of defending, and more importantly, you decide to smack someone, initiate violence on them, you were clearly in the wrong. In any event, Will Smith, according to this article, resigned from the Motion Picture Academy following his Oscars night slap of Chris Rock, saying he will accept any further punishment the organization imposes. A spokesperson for Smith issued a statement from the actor on Friday afternoon. I will fully accept any and all consequences for my conduct. My actions at the 94th Academy Awards presentation were shocking, painful, and inexcusable. Gotta respect him for at least owning that. The list of those I have hurt is long and includes Chris, his family, many of the dear friends and loved ones, all those in attendance, and global audiences at home. I betrayed the trust of the Academy. I deprived other nominees and winners of their opportunity to celebrate and be celebrated for their extraordinary work. I am heartbroken. His resignation came two days after the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science meant to initiate disciplinary proceedings against the actor for violations of his standards of conduct. Attendees of the Dolby Theater watched open mouth as Smith mounted the stage and slapped Rock across the face after the comic made a joke about his wife's closely cropped head. Oh, the boy was that good entertainment or was that good entertainment? And the memes that have come out from this, oh, like this one right here. <laughs> And look, I know I'm smiling about this, but look, my heart does actually feel for anyone that has worked so hard to make it in the industry. Because there are few people in the entertainment industry that work as hard as Will Smith. This is something that is widely known in the entertainment industry. But have seen this thing crumble just like that. And it's very, it's very interesting that it was Denzel that said... At your highest point, that's when the devil comes for you. Because essentially, at Will Smith's highest point, ach achieving an Oscar because of his behavior, because of his ego, the devil has come for him. Lesson to be learned. Always keep your ego in check. Always keep your ego in check. And you could say, look, the guy was trying to defend his wife. It wasn't about his ego. But it was about his ego. A lot of people deem that as being a virtuous thing. You know, you're defending your family. But the reason as to why you're defending your family is really what needs to be questioned here. Are you defending them out of a sense of righteous honor, respect for not just them, for everyone? I mean, it needs to, for something to be just, it can't just be a case of I need to defend someone. It needs to be something that is, is balanced. It's fair. Now, is it just to slap someone because of an insult that they have given to your wife? Is that fair? Is that just? No. No. You felt the need to slap that person because it was an attack on your wife, which was obviously an attack on you as well, on your family. And that's coming out of ego. Then my thoughts on that. I, I don't think this stemmed from an altruistic mindset. I think this stem, stemmed from a place of, granted, I need to protect my family, but also from a place of, Look, I need to protect myself. People are saying all this shit about me, saying how I'm weak, how I'm a simp. I can't let that stuff go on. But hey, they're just my thoughts. I don't know the guy personally, and I don't look into um, his mind. But one thing I can tell without a shadow of a doubt is that uh, his his pain was, was palpable, visceral, tangible. Anyone that felt the energy that was manifesting from him during that altercation realizes that that was not... That was not a staged event. And for all the momos out there that are still coming up with all this circumstantial evidence, look, you can join the Flat Earth Society. Perhaps you should consider doing that. But one thing we know of, and I know I know people are actually saying this thing that, you know, Fizzer perhaps had to do with this whole thing because of the fact that they sponsor the Academy and uh, they have some alopecia treatment on the market and the fact that Jada Pinkett was suffering from alopecia. Perhaps this thing is a whole staged event. But look, you and I know that there are far greater conspiracy, far more detail, far more mind-boggling that are going on right now than this whole entanglement fiasco. In, in other news, I want to talk about a real conspiracy that is going on that is actually something built of reality, not air and imagination. And that is the UK government planning to launch um, a new digital ID technology on April 22nd. We've been speaking about this for quite a, quite some time now. A few years back, how we would 
we would see a form of digital currency. Um, the governments would have their play to try to control the system. I mean, this is the next step, right? To create a, a centralized form of digital currency that tracks what you purchase. And eventually, once you get everyone on it, you can start restricting what people can purchase, restricting what people, even where people can go. I mean, your transactions track so much about you. But even beyond that, everything is tracked in the 21st century. But it all works through money. Money is the, it's like the, the final piece in the puzzle in order to maintain this uh, absolute and utter state of inversion, as Ayn Rand would put it. A state of ultimate control where the state can do anything at once. Because they now control the very currency, energy, that you use in order to live in this society. What, you said the wrong thing? We're going to shut down your bank account. Oh, you thought the wrong thing? Oh, look, you're not allowed to, uh, you're not allowed to date people on Tinder now. <laughs> and interestingly enough, that's actually what's been happening to a lot of people. Like uh, Sydney Watson, she, uh, she recently, she, was, she had her PayPal suspended for not anything she put on PayPal, but content that she made on a completely different platform, YouTube. And what's more, her Uber Eats account, Uber Eats account was suspended. Now, I'm pretty sure she didn't purchase the wrong kind of food. I don't really know what you can do that is wrong if you were purchasing something through Uber Eats that would require suspension. But clearly, Uber Eats shut her down because of the thing because they don't like what she's been associated with. And this is what we're seeing now. You think the wrong thing, and oops, there goes your Instagram. Oops, there goes your YouTube. Oh, there goes your Pornhub account. I mean, no, wait, not Pornhub. Um, there goes... You know what I'm talking about. They'll take it all from you. They took away my Tinder account, damn it. Fuck you, Tinder. <laughs> it's all good. I made another account. I call myself the Chocolate Noobs. Ladies, check us out. <laughs> so that is what we are seeing transpire right now. All right. Finally, I want to talk about uh, another report I came across that really sickened me. Now, as you guys know, I'm an animal lover. Of course, I mean... I'm the vegan prince, warrior king. I made a, made a book. Check it out. Now, the Chinese uh, apparently that have a plan to kill, at least they had a plan to kill all pets belonging to uh, the Boomshuck, <laughs> Boomshuck like a 19 patients in a coronavirus hotspot neighborhood. And they axed this, thank God. But the idea that they even had a plan to do this. So it's it's one thing for you to, to have the Rona, right? And to quarantine people but now they're killing animals how how sick do you need to be this is the problem with this whole realm of safety realm of what might happen well you know the dog may have the roner and the dogs may transmit that so i'm going to kill them oh i'm going it, it's the same situation we are even seeing with the whole will smith uh, in terms of uh the justification for um comedians saying inappropriate things. Oh, you can't say something like that because someone may be offended. It's always an appeal to potentiality. This kind of thinking is at the heart of evil. This sense of wanting to preserve safety at the cost of freedom. Oh, it's not cool. So China, fortunately, the Chinese authorities have planned uh, have axed the plan to kill all the uh, pets belonging to uh, the Rona-19 patients in a virus hotspot falling, an outcry from residents, understandably. So enough people complain, and this is something that needs to be stated. A lot of people think that whining, complaining, posting, protesting doesn't do anything. But as I often say, everything has a tangible effect. Everything that you do echoes throughout the universe, even these protests. A lot of people say, oh, it's a waste of time. Oh, look, pe the efforts of people like Rainer Fulmich striving to actually have a court where he can make certain people accountable for their behavior and so forth. Oh, that's, that's not going to do anything. It's pointless. It's, it may not do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, it's still worth an effort. Even the act of trying has a tangible, palpable effect in the greater scheme of things. And whereas at times it's difficult to see the consequences of your actions, sometimes... You have to rely on the fact that everything will serve its purpose in the end. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Alrighty, alrighty. Well, without making this video too long, 
I'm just going to take this opportunity, guys, just to update you on a few events. Um, first of all, yours truly is going to be doing some some gigs. It's been a while, but I'm, I'm doing some live uh, busking gigs in the city of Melbourne. So uh, keep a lookout for me. I'm going to be taking my guitar. I'm going to be taking my, my soulful voice. And I'm going to be serenading the senior readers. Now, uh, I'm also... I'm also going to be releasing some um, some podcasts. Uh, bearing in mind, my Patreon account, with my Patreon account, I've decided just to, rather than creating special featured content for the Patreons, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put all my stuff up there. If you guys want to support me, if you guys like what I do, by all means, you can, you can follow that stuff. But look, you're going to find all of my content available for everyone. I just feel like it's easy that way. If you, if you guys just like what I do, support me. But I don't like making, I don't like, the Chocolate Noobs isn't like discriminating, you know? I mean, I discriminate against the Momos. <laughs> but look, if you guys support me, I'm still, you're still going to, you're still going to have to deal with my nonsense. And if you don't, you're still going to have to deal with my nonsense. It's all good. My content is for everyone. But that being said, I do appreciate the donations, the cryptocurrencies, the comments. I uh, particularly uh, if they're they're the comments like um how long my chocolate. Um. Anyway, let's not go there. But ladies and gentlemen, be sure to like the video, subscribe, click on the bell, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your mamas, drop us the co drop us the comments, let us know what you think, and remember there are three things that cannot remain hidden for long: the sun, the moon. And the wisdomatic truth bombs of the chocolate Nubian soul brother. Ow! What is liberty? What the? Who says you can't build muscle on a vegan diet? <laughs> What's it like being a, a hottie in the vegan community? <laughs> there are no political solutions, only technological ones. The economics of the system don't allow multiple competing systems to survive. Engineering, technology, these arts of humanity, they are magic. 